What is going on everyone? My name is Shaq Mac and today I am here with some new buzzer beater content that was released just today and we have here for you guys one of the main players if not the main player of this buzzer beater set for today is Jalen Rose. Point guard Jalen Rose. He is a what looks like dominant point guard. I've seen other people's gameplays so far and I've seen him in action. He doesn't look like a bad card whatsoever. Ever, and a lot of good things about him, but also a few concerning things about him that I also want to point out. Now, Jalen Rose was released alongside Jerry Stackhouse, Vince Carter, and Hassan Whiteside. I think this card, probably out of all of them, is the best one anyways, for many reasons. First off, what we're going to do, we're going to look at this 98 defensive overall. Now, 98 defensive overall isn't terrible. With my Galaxy Opals, I need them to be a 99 everything, or at least on off offensive and defensive overall. So, 98 scares me to start off, but he makes up for that for being a point guard at the six foot eight at the six foot eight he's at the point guard position and he is six foot eight let me rephrase that but Jalen Rose has the positives about him he is a 2k built player a tall point guard always seems to do well in 2k no matter what the stats are he can still find his way around the court pretty well so six foot eight point guard Jalen Rose let's take a look at his stats as you can see he has a 92 three-point shot which is one thing that comes up to mind he has decent post moves for a point guard. He's got a nice driving layup and can finish really well all around the rim. He's got a 94 mid-range as well, so that's helpful. 90 driving dunk too, so we can finish at the rim. And as we go to his passing, he's got ball handle. He can speed boost, which is always helpful for point guards nowadays. If you have a card that can't speed boost, there's a good chance he isn't going to be used or seen very often in the 2K community. But 92 ball handle is good for Jalen Rose. Now we go to his defense. One of the things that I did point out with the 98 offensive overall, his best stat a 93 perimeter defense, which don't get me wrong, is a good thing. I like that he's got 93 perimeter defense. It's helpful. However, we go to his block, steel, and interior, and they're all in the 80s. Nowadays, I really like my cars to at least have two stats in the 90s, but I mean, the defense isn't terrible. So as you can tell before, 98 isn't terrible. I did say that at the start, but it's not as good and not as helpful as I'd like it to be. He's got some decent rebounding stats, again, for a point guard. Keep in mind that he is a point guard at 6'8", so even though he doesn't have 90s in the rebounding. That's still decent. He's also got 90 for speed, speed ball, and acceleration. Got a high vertical, and his lateral quickness is an 89, which is a bit disappointing. It's not even hit the 90s, but hopefully it won't ruin us too much in the actual games because he is lengthy at the point guard position, so he will be able to stay in front of players, I think, somewhat decently. So now we go over to his badges. He's got 44 Hall of Fame badges, so again, I'll just scroll down here and see what it's like. Obviously, I'll for gameplay like this, he's probably not meant to be used in triple threat or as meant to be used in triple threat as like maybe an unlimited because he is 6'8 at the point guard position and that's kind of his advantage when we go into game is that he's supposed to be a tall point guard. He's supposed to, you know, make the most of that point guard position with his height. But at the same time, I'm sure he'll be able to work quite well in triple threat online anyways, bringing that ball up. I know who I'm going to play him with, so it should be a pretty decent game either way. Obviously, he has got a few defensive badges that I'd like to be in Hall of Fame in the gold. Again, like I said, that's probably all playing up to his 98 defensive overall, which kind of sucks, but I'm hoping that his height and everything else about him offensively will make up for him. I've heard good things about him, so I can't imagine him playing too far down to the competition. Jalen Rose, we're going to go into shoot around and see what you are like. So here's Jalen Rose. Obviously, he has that 92 ball handle, so he'll be able to do his own thing there. Known as one of the best handlines in the, in the game, and all I'm saying is... Why not looking too bad here? I'm on no level of Jalen Rose. I'm absolutely no level of Jalen Rose. He has a beautiful hairline. But as you can see there, his jump shot does actually feel quite nice. I have heard people say that his jump shot is awkward. And I may have just gotten lucky with that first shot. But I definitely see where he's kind of awkward. He has a little hitch in his shot. He almost tries to bring the ball up. Uh, and it takes a bit of effort for him to do so. But his jump shot is workable. We can use it and hopefully perfect it when we get into game. It, it all depends as to what it's like online. Because as you guys know, if you've been keeping up with my gameplay, my shot has been like really dodgy when transferring to online. So I'm going to take that into account when playing in these games that Jalen Rose may not be the problem and it may just be me. So other than that, his jump shot, it doesn't feel too bad. I will say that it doesn't feel terrible. It's not the best jump shot I've seen in my life because it is a bit slower than I expected. But Jalen Rose, his jump shot doesn't feel terrible. It doesn't feel terrible at all. I'm going to try out his uh, driving though. He does have that 
92 ball handle, so I'll have that speed boost, and he also has the 90 driving dunk, so I'm gonna go a little step back, speed boost through. Yeah, his his height is gonna make him so much more dominant defensively as well, I, I believe, because although his defensive stats aren't amazing, I'm hoping his height will be able to keep him in front of players. It depends if he comes up against a dominant center, like a Wes Unseld could absolutely destroy a card like Jalen Rose, I feel like. Like Nikola Jokic, LeBron James, those dudes who can compare to him in height and have those incredible like off the dribble move and stuff like that. I feel like will be Jalen Rose's kryptonite. But I'm going to end it on this green here and go to the starting lineup. Got a few things down and pat, so let's get to the starting lineup. <laughs> so this is our starting lineup. As you can see, I have Kevin Durant and Bob Pettit in. This is all kind of a similar height. I know Kevin Durant is 6'9". I'm pretty sure Bob Pettit is 6'9". I'm not sure how tall specifically he is, but he isn't a tall power forward. And Jalen Rose also 6'8". So all very similar height coming together to hopefully not give up offensive rebounds. That's also been a theme for my gameplays. I lost the game the other day 15 to 4 in rebounds. So hopefully this time we won't have any of those problems and Jalen Rose will be able to help out in that case and just use his height to his, his advantage is probably the one thing I'm going to be looking out for. So without further ado, let's get into these games. Jalen Rose, show me what you've got, man. First game, I don't understand. As soon as I press the record, I get Pink Diamond Current Series 2 LeBron James's. This happened in the Tony Parker gameplay. This is a very obscure lineup. I'm not saying it's a bad lineup. He could be a good player. But at the end of the day, man, this is not a lineup I expect to see nowadays. It's something that you've seen maybe two, three months ago. Maybe even earlier than that, because this is this is a very unorthodox lineup. But that doesn't mean we are going to uh, disappoint. It means we're just going to use Jalen Rose. Obviously, he's got Michael Jordan on him. He is not a point guard or a traditional point guard. So, I'm uh, not sure whether it'll be an advantage or disadvantage. But he's already getting himself to the hole. Jalen Rose Easy finish. He gets himself around players super easy. So that's a good start. Uh, obviously, offense is a completely different thing to defense, though. So I'm going to need to make sure I uh, focus up on that end, as I was not focused at all there. So, Jalen Rowe. Can you absolutely destroy on the offensive end? Because I feel like that'll make or break you. Got that ball coming around, stopping, hitting KD, cut straight towards the basket. Gonna find Jalen. He's not doing, like, I feel like I'm not just the only one who's noticed that 2K's mechanics has just been gotten so weird as of late. Just really unorthodox. But Jalen Rose getting straight to the basket again. That's gone through Kevin Durant's legs. What the hell, man? Crossing up on Michael Jordan, stepping back. Oh, he's got the moves for sure. He can't stop Jalen Rose in that sense. Hitting that shot, hopefully. Nope, we are full. We are, we're not full lighting. That was just a bad shot by me. But of course, I get punished for it. Michael Jordan, is he gonna, is he gonna miss? Yes, he is. Okay, I'm not the only one being screwed here. Stopping, popping. He does have that range extender. I can't get that one to go. Oh, that's the defense I like to see. Jalen Rose. That's beautiful. That's beautiful stuff right there. Kick that back out. Kevin Durant, knock that down for me. Hey, green light. I think it's only a two. But that's the defense I'm talking about. He's making up for it using his height. When we can focus and get things working, Jalen Rose can absolutely help out on the defensive end as he knocks down a green light. Step back three. I've got some really good like feelings from this Jalen Rose already. I've had a lot of fun so far. We grab the board off the James Worthy miss. Stepping back. I don't feel like I need to just chuck threes with Jalen Rose because I can move that ball around. Unfortunately, it's everyone else letting me down right now, which honestly, sometimes it feels like the opposite nowadays where the player I'm trying to do the gameplay on lets me down so often, but Jalen Rose, pull up, knock that one down. Nope, we're hitting the, we're getting the white there. His three-point shot hasn't been as consistent as I'd like it to be, but he can green it. Gonna kick that one out, Bob Pettit, though. Knock that one down, come on. We need to just start hitting our shots regularly because this dude probably shouldn't even be in the game if we're being completely honest. I will give it to this dude, though. He hasn't been a terrible player. It's just he's been taking some very weird and awkward shots. Jalen Rose already has takeover. That's nuts as he's green in that one. This is where we start taking over Jalen Rose with the green right there. How has he already got takeover? That's nuts. Cameron Durant, I think, getting the steal there. No, nope, that's going out of bounds. Oh, not even out of bounds. Somehow a kick ball. That makes a lot of sense. Let's just make him take a bad shot then just keep Dean up right there. 16%. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I swear nowadays more whites go in on me than anything else. So, Jalen Rose, let's just step this one back. Cut straight through. Stopping, popping, green light. You know, just the usual. Now, I've got so much confidence with this Jalen Rose. This is nuts. Bob Pettit with the block. That's some good sight. We're going to stop. He's got that range extender. How far does that range extender go? Jalen Rose from 
deep, baby. That's what I like to see. That's what you call uber confidence. That's what you call the most amount of confidence. I'm letting Michael Jordan get a layup there, but hey, at the end of the day, I'm not too stressed now. This is pretty much game over. I keep getting myself in awkward positions with my players when I'm trying to do dribble moves, but we want to see whether we can break Michael Jordan. No, nope, not even close. I am not a dribble god by any means, so don't expect me to be too good. Stepping through, stepping back, hitting around, fading three. Can we get that one to go? Nope. <laughs> I think Jalen Rose, yeah, Jalen Rose just lost his takeover. I just wasted it all, so I'm going to stop. We're going to pop and finish that one off right there. First thing that I've noticed, obviously the, the percentage isn't going to be great for the first game. I, it probably isn't. Five, five, look, it's not terrible. He's 70% from the field, and I'm not even going to try and think of the percentage this from three points, but he's five for eight from three. I was a bit reckless with him. I was just getting used to it all, but Jalen Rose Rose first game. That was really, really nice. The confidence I had with this card was out of this world. Defensively, he's also made up for it. He's doing his thing. I think maybe every now and then he kind of gets slipped by a bit too easily, but his six foot eight and wide stature makes him able to just stick in front of players naturally. So a card like this, who has all these dribble moves and these offensive threats, as well as the big size of him, just makes him so dominant. He makes him so so good. No wonder this guy's going for 300k so far. So Jalen Rose, good first game. Let's get into the second one. Okay, now this is a matchup. We're up against Goat Kobe, Goat Kareem, and point guard LeBron. Like I said, that's potential like kryptonite. Jalen Rose kryptonite. We're gonna have to have a lot of confidence against this dude. Honestly, I don't expect too much. I'm just gonna try and hope that things go well for us offensively. I'm not gonna focus too defensively on a team like this because like even if you play good defense defense on a team like this. They just get what they want. So it's offense that I'm looking at right now. I'm going to step back. Jalen Rose, keep that confidence going because Jalen Rose definitely has the ability to be confident. Stepping through. He's got such a nice hop step too. That hop step was dirty, dude. That's exactly what I want to see. He's taking a bad shot though with Kareem and of course he gets the block. But Jalen Rose with the block. Hey, not bad. And the steal. And he gets forced out of bounds. Look, that was, a, that was a good set of defense from Jalen Rose. Just not helpful that we get screwed over in the end. It's not like we need this dude to not get all these BS animations. But as soon as I say that, he goes straight past Bob Pettit. So, I mean, defense, like I said, not, we're not going to stress ourselves out over defense. Stopping straight through. If we can stop this dude on the uh, defensive end and make up for it uh, with our offense, then we should be able to make this at least a close game as we get in the assist with Jalen Rose right there. Jalen Rose with another steal. Okay, his defense is going crazy right now. We're going straight through. Can we find KD open? He did notice that it was going there. We're going to stop. We're going to pop. KD, can we get that one to go? No, we can't. But Bob Pettis getting boards. That's what we like to see. Jalen, out again. Jalen cutting through. Going to find someone hopefully open. Can't get anyone too wide open there. But KD gets a little bit of space and knocks it down. Jalen Rose with the assist right there. Would have liked to green that up. But hey, we'll take our whites. We got an offensive rebound there. You know what? When we come up against a Kareem, we'll take any bit of help we can get. Jalen Rose with the ball. We're going out. Can we get straight to the basket? He finds Bob Pettit in the corner. Beautiful stuff, Jalen Rose. He is just such a threat at all times. He's a tall point guard, and you like using players like that. Just tall point guards you can destroy, but there's his lack of defensive stats coming into play, as you can see. Kobe Bryant just going straight past him, unfortunately. Jalen Rose coming down, stepping back, step through, coming straight around. Bob Pettit again, just setting each other up, setting Bob Pettit up for the three. Hey, we'll take this stuff, man. Jalen Rose has been an absolutely amazing playmaker so far. Unfortunately, getting the bad animation, but it almost gets him a steal. But um, of course, he's up against Kobe Bryant. It's going to be difficult to get stops. As Bob Pettit, what are you doing, man? You're leaving Kareem open? Really? Bob Pettit, <laughs> I'm, I'm happy that you've got confidence, mate, to leave Kareem wide open, but like it's probably not the smartest move. Hit Kevin Durant though. Jalen Rose is just hitting everyone up right now. We actually may beat this team. This is nuts. However, Kobe Bryant is getting the ankle breaker on Jalen Rose. Again, I'm not focused on defense. And even then, the defense has been really nice. Stepping back, Jalen Rose. Oh! <laughs> hey, he makes his own offense too. Jalen Rose. He's getting Kobe Bryant going crazy. Hop stepping. He's got a very nice hop step, but unfortunately couldn't get too much there. We've got to keep in mind, this is a god squad. A god squad. So, like, I can't be expecting everything to go my way as he's hitting Jalen Rose in the corner. Knock that one down. Hey, that catch and shoot's been nice. And he's got takeover potentially for game. So this could be really, really nice. He's going straight to Kareem, however. Why have we left Kareem wide open? 
Who decided that leaving Kareem is wide open? It's Bob Pettit again. Stopping. He knows he's gonna make sure that like I'm not getting any shots off right now. We almost we're gonna almost beat this team. I'm not saying anything. I can't say anything. Stop it, Reese. Stop it, Shaqback. We are just going straight for the easy wins right there. Jalen Rose, that's full wide, I think. Damn. Oh my god. Yeah, it's going in. I've seen that animation many times before. Yep, there it is. He's getting the fading three to go. Oh, lovely stuff. Okay, come on. We're not choking this game away. Oh, Jalen Rose has a wide open lane in the basket. Hey, we'll take any kind of win like that. Dude, that is a really nice win up against Kareem Kobe LeBron. That's a W. Like, I have said it plenty of times before, but we've come up against some really, really easy squads. This was the complete opposite of that, and Jalen Rose showed out. Look at that huge stat line. Nine points, a rebound, five assists, two steals, and a block. Although he had a turnover, he did do quite well. Not the shooting statistics that I like, but you've got to also, like, think about it. He's up against Galaxy, Opal, Goat, Kobe. You can't beat cards like that as easily as you'd like to. But man, that was a convincing win. Jalen Rose has really, really impressed me. Nine points, doesn't seem like that much, but if you see how he scored them and the ways he did it, just really, really nice all around. Jalen Rose, beautiful, beautiful gameplay. Good stuff. So Jalen Rose, you have been an absolute pleasure to play with. Your height makes up for so much. I do understand that sometimes the defense does show and his 98 offensive, oh, Oh, sorry, not offensive. Defensive overall does show. But overall, Jalen Rose, perfect gameplay. I literally can't say how nice that gameplay was. If beating a squad like LeBron, point guard LeBron, Goat Kobe and Goat Kareem is anything to go by, this card is a dub. He's very, very nice. Extremely good to play with. His height just makes things so much easier, so much easier to deal with. And he has a nice jump shot. He has a very nice jump shot. So overall, absolute dub. Definitely worth 300k. Even though I probably will sell him back because I'm trying to get that Galaxy Opal Kareem. He's definitely a card I would consider picking up for like your unlimited squad, something like that. Because he's a nice card, a backup point guard, a very nice backup point guard. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment down below any video ideas, suggestions, and constructive criticism, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. We have 10 subscribers at this moment of recording from hitting 700 subscribers, so any bit of help and support is always so much appreciated. I say it at the end of every single video nowadays, but I really do mean it. Every bit of appreciation and support is like amazing to me. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.